Hey everyone, this is Nargelia13 coming at you with another, well not another, but a hookah review. Um, today we are reviewing this Starbuzz hookah. It is called the Ikonoka, Ikonoka, however you pronounce it. It's really weird. You'll see it in the, obviously in the title. Um, so the retail price of this is, I believe, $80.00. Um, which is pretty decently priced for this. Um, it's definitely a decent hookah. So far, the only con we have with this hookah is you can display it here. As you might not be able to see it from over there, but if you can tell, we're blown into it. The chamber does not clear. I'm sure probably from here up, the chamber is clear, but from here down, there's still all that stale smoke is still in there. So, that's not necessarily a huge deal. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's not It's not really a huge deal. I mean, it's, it's nice to have for if the s smoke gets harsh and whatnot. But, other than that, um, as you can tell, we are using our small Tangiers funnel bowl with a Cloud Lotus. Um, but, uh, it's not really about the shisha right now. It's about how the hookah works. Um, so, it's like, what? You referenced the bowl, not the shisha. I was just giggling. Sorry, continue. Oh, I know, but that, just whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get on with the review. So, um, it's clearly like a Chinese type built hookah. Um, so, like any other normal hookah like that, a lot of the stuff comes apart. The, the, uh, the stem itself actually unscrews, so you only have this. So all this or whatever will unscrew from the stem. Um, the down stem unscrews from the stem, sorry. Um, this unscrews, you know, the, the choke unscrews, etc, etc. Uh, the tray actually comes off the part that the grommet is attached with the bowl. That part twists off as well, which actually, when it's twist on, as you can see, is very stable, which is kind of a nice thing Yeah. with hookahs. Um, I mean, obviously, I mean, as you might see, most of my videos, I w I'm always smoking out of a Khalil Mamoon Egyptian hookah, which I prefer those hookahs, but I, I do enjoy the factor that it is a very stable tray. It doesn't move around at all. Um, very simple stem, nothing special about it other than the fact that it, whatever, has, gro Bubbles. has grooves in it. Um, it all fits together rather nicely. Yeah. Um, the smooth. grommet... Um, the stem grommet is very nice. It, uh, I don't know, so a lot of times I have problems with some of my grommets where after a while of use, they kind of make the stem like tilted from the base. Not intensely for me to care about it, but this one seems like it's definitely a very nice grommet and it would hold very well for quite a while. So I would definitely say this is a good starter hookah. Um, I obviously personally prefer Kalima Moons, and for, you know, like 80 bucks or whatever this is, I believe it's 80 bucks, um, I'll double check it and put an annotation if it isn't, but if you don't see an annotation, it's 80 bucks. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it, it's a very nice hookah, but in my opinion, I would honestly go, you know, a couple bucks more to get a Kalima Moon, just that, just because that's my opinion, but if you don't have... A huge preference with like Egyptian to Chinese or whatever. If you don't mind Chinese, is definitely a very nice hookah to start out with. Um, I mean, on a scale of one to ten, what would you give it on just overall basic just hookah? Would you say? Because um, I'm not even sure. <laughs> so probably an eight. Yeah, an eight out of ten. Um, eight yeah. out of ten hookah. It all works rather Honestly, nicely. Honestly, the main factors of those two points mainly is the chamber. If if the chamber cleared, I definitely probably would give this a, at least a 9 out of 10 if the chamber would actually completely clear. Um, I've tried, you know, working with the water levels and see if that helps with clearing the chamber and that nothing really worked. So it just doesn't really clear, but it's not a huge deal. So yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all we got for the hookah. Um, also, this hose is not the hose that came with the hookah. 
but it is a very nice Starbuzz hose. Um, but it's basically the same thing, except for it's a little more fancy. Yeah, it's a little more fancy. Um, I, I looked at the hoses, and they are about the same gauge, so that's not really affecting on how the hookah works. Uh, but yeah, other than that, like I said, like we said, eight out of ten for the hookah. Definitely a decent starter hookah if you don't care as to whether or not it's Egyptian or Chinese and or you whatever start, you would consider sure. this. But but yeah. Definitely a great travel hookah too. I'd say it's it's just it's it takes you know, apart it's, very it nicely. It takes apart, yeah. It comes apart very easily, and you know you can easy to pack. Yeah, yeah. and small enough where it's good enough to put on a table. I I prefer not to have tall hookahs on a table. So, but yeah. So before this video gets way too long, I'm gonna end it and say yeah, good hookah. Um, hit that click. Hit that click. Check out my other videos and subscribe aka hit that click and like favorite comment etc 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 all right so yeah see you guys later thanks for watching bye